Try happy not. Saturday, guys. Happy Saturday. Don't mind my nose. Had the sniffles the other day because of the weather change. But I boiled up some um, like elderberry and like some other herbs. I mixed up like five different herbs and I drunk it and I made some up for like my family and friends and stuff. So that helped and cleared it out. But um, happy Saturday, guys. I'm coming on because the Lord told me to. I'm going to read um, quickly Proverbs 10 and also Proverbs 25. Um, it was downloaded to me last night, but just yesterday was so busy for me, guys. This whole week, it just, I'm in a busier season now. So, you know, I'm like, let me do it today. I'm at the laundromat. Yeah, I know it's like I'll be here so many times out the week. But I'm at the laundromat now. My clothes are dry and I just dropped Justice off. I picked him up last night because he wanted to come back. He dropped him off again today because I was supposed to get him back on Sunday. So I'll probably get him back tomorrow or Monday since they can go back to school on Tuesday. And I got to go grocery shopping after the clothes. And I got like two more errands and I think I should be good. I cleaned up today. I worked on homework with him today. It's just been a busy day for me, guys. So um, anyway, um, I hope y'all Saturday is going well. Proverbs. And it's so hot, guys. It's just a hot day. That's Florida, period. But even with my AC on, it's just, it's hot, guys. I don't know how the weather is where y'all at. But I wish I could just jump in the ice pool water or something like that, guys. <laughs> okay, let, let's start with Proverbs 10. Let's read Proverbs chapter 10, all of it first. I believe that um, something in these Proverbs, although we read Proverbs before, I believe that something in these Proverbs will be a blessing for someone that's going to listen to this. Proverbs 10 has about 32 verses. It's going to be a key or an answer or a nugget or something in here that's going to um, be a blessing for you. And then we'll jump over to Proverbs 25. Proverbs 10 is Proverbs of Solomon, and I'm just going to read it. I'll try to read it verse by verse, guys. So Proverbs 1, it says, The Proverbs of Solomon, A wise son brings joy to his father, but a foolish son grief to his mother. Verse 2, Ill-gotten treasures are of no value, but righteousness the, the righteousness delivers from death. Verse 3, The Lord does not let the righteous go hungry, but he thwarts the craving of the wicked. Verse 4 says, lazy hands make a man poor. Make a man poor, but diligent hands bring wealth. Verse 5, he who gathers crops in summer is a wise son. And if you guys can me keep clearing my throat, it was kind of like with this weather acting up the last couple of days, like the last day and a half or so. So it's much better. I've been drinking my tea, the herbs, the water, um, orange juice, all that good stuff. So it's just... It's good, it's just sometimes it just irritates, I guess, when I talk, but I know I still have to come on and um, do this work. So I'm um, just kind of bearing me if you guys keep hearing me um, do that, mm -mm, or whatever. So, um, five, he who gathers crops in summer is a wise son, but he who sleeps during harvest is a disgraceful son. Okay, six, blessings crown the head of the righteous, but violence overwhelms the mouth of the wicked. And then in the footnotes, that B means... Or, but the mouth of the wicked conceals violence. Okay, so that's six. Let's do seven and eight. The memory of the righteous will be a blessing. Somebody say, my memory will be a blessing in Jesus' name. But the name of the wicked will rot. Eight says, the wise in heart accept commands, but a chattering fool comes to ruin. Nine through eleven. The man of integrity walks securely. Somebody received that today. The man of integrity walk securely it could be a man it could be a woman basically this just means in this context context the person that has integrity you know you have integrity you walk securely right but he who takes crooked paths will be found out i'm going to read proverbs 10 9 again the man of integrity walks securely but he who takes crooked paths will be found out 10 he who winks maliciously causes grief and a chattering fool comes to ruin and that's saying it again about the chattering fool comes to ruin because it just said it in eight. You know, so we're seeing these things, hearing these things for a reason. Okay, 11. The mouth of the righteous is a fountain of life, but violence overwhelms the mouth of the wicked. 12 and 13. Hatred stirs up dissension, but love covers all wrongs. 13. Wisdom is found on the lips of the discerning, but a rod is for the back of him who lacks judgment. 14. Wise men store up knowledge. Somebody say knowledge. But the mouth of a fool invites ruin. 15 and 16. The wealth of the rich is their fortified city, but poverty is the ruin of the poor. 16. 
excuse me, 16 says, the wages of the righteous. And if you guys keep seeing me look around, I be in these plazas and they be busy, especially when I'm at today. So I'm still in the same city where I dropped my son instead of me going back to my city, which is skipping a hop away. It's just this traffic and it's driving. This was right down the street from where his dad lives. So, and I used to live down this way too. So I'm familiar with all these little plazas wherever I got to go. So I just be looking. Nobody ain't really doing nothing. Just you just gotta be paying attention and surroundings at the same time. But anyway, but a ride is for the back of him who lacks judgment. 14. Wise men store up knowledge with the mouth of a fool and vice ruin. 15 and 16. The wealth of the rich, we'll read it again, is their fortified city, but poverty is the ruin of the poor. 16. The wages of the righteous bring them life, but the income of the wicked brings them punishment. That's so 17 through 19. He who heeds discipline shows the way to life, but whoever ignores correction leads others astray. He who conceals his hatred has lying lips, and whoever spreads slander is a fool. 19 through 20. 21. When words are many, listen to this, guys. When words are many, sin is not absent. But he who holds his tongue is wise. Now, I know that's a right now word for somebody. 20. The tongue of the righteous is choice silver, but the heart of the wicked is of little value. That, that, that Proverbs 10, 20, be an encouragement to some right now. You may be in that situation right now, you know. So, but the heart of the wicked is of little value. 21 and 22. The lips of the righteous nourish many, but fools die for lack of judgment. 22. The blessing of the Lord brings wealth and he adds no trouble to it. Sometimes I should say the blessing of the Lord, you know, makes you rich and he adds no sorrow to it. So, 23. Let's go 23 to 25. A fool finds pleasure in evil conduct, but a man of understanding delights in wisdom. 24. What the wicked dreads will overtake him. But, okay, what, what the wicked dreads will overtake him. What the righteous desire will be granted. 25. When the storm has swept by, the wicked are gone, but the righteous stand firm forever. 26 through 29, guys, for the, you following along, I'm trying to do the verses. Sometimes I just read straight through, but I know sometimes it's good to do the verses as well so you guys can follow along a little bit better. So we're trying to announce that sometimes too as we're doing them verse by verse. So um, let's do 25 to 29, 26 to 29. As vinegar to the teeth and smoke to the eyes, so is a sluggard to those who send him. The fear of the Lord adds length to life, but the years of the wicked are cut short. 28, reading on, the prospect of the righteous is joy. Somebody say joy. But the hopes of the wicked come to nothing. 29, the way of the Lord is a refuge for the righteous, but it is the ruin of those who do evil. Let's do 30 through 32 for Proverbs 10. Then we'll jump over to 25. Okay, so the righteous will never be uprooted. But the wicked will not remain in the land. 31, the mouth of the righteous brings forth wisdom. But a perverse tongue will be cut off. Cut out. I'm sorry, cut out. 32, the lips of the righteous know what is fitting. But the mouth of the wicked only what is perverse. And what I love about the Proverbs is God's it has so much knowledge, just like with the Psalms too, but with the Proverbs, it has so much knowledge because the Psalms are more like songs and poems and different accents and different things. But Proverbs is more like wisdom. Proverbs is more like um, nuggets and different things like that. So there's so much wisdom in this Bible. It's just we just have to be open to it. Okay, so that's Proverbs 10. Let me know what scripture or scripture stood out to you. Now I'm going to jump over to Proverbs 25. Like I told you guys this year, I don't see myself coming on every day. You know, God showed me do at least minimum one video per week. Like, you know, come on and do it. And then in February, I know I'll be on a lot more because we're going to be coming from the purpose driven life. So, and I think that's going to go into early March. I kind of want to share that outline more as that time comes. I kind of already told you guys what we're going to be doing for January and February, though. But I'm just trying to come on as he leads, too, because even with those um, weekly videos with our focal points, releasing still what he's saying is a blessing to many of you. You guys have been emailing me, texting, commenting, so I'm just trying to do my best no matter what. I never want to get too busy for God. I want to keep him apart because I feel like if we get too busy for God, we're too busy, you know, and I feel like God should be a priority in our life. Like we're all in different seasons. We're all in different times. You know, we're all in different journeys. We're all facing and dealing with different things, but we're all connected through Christ. You know, we all love him. We're all seeking after him. All of our lives are changed because of him. 
you know so i feel like that's important you know iron sharpens iron you know what i mean so you know so now let's go to proverbs 25 i was going to say something else but i don't i don't want to make this video too long because i do have to get back to what i have to do like i said when i finish with the laundry actually while this is drying because i washed at the house actually while this is drying I'm, there's a um, grocery store in the same plaza right down there i'm gonna go get the groceries so i can cook for tonight come back here and then i have to go get gas i'll get gas once i head back um the way where i am and then two more errands once i get back there but at least i'm taking care of this stuff you know getting it out the way i try to like maximize all my time you know so to the best of my ability so proverbs 25 is more Proverbs of Solomon, okay? It has about 28 verses. Okay, let's do one through three. These are more Proverbs of Solomon copied by the men of Hezekiah, king of Judah.